Two former police officers are each sentenced to seven years and six months in prison in case opened after bugs were found in the office and residence of then Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan in 2011. Former police officers Sadat Zavar and Vilkar USTA were sentenced to seven years and six months in prison in the case filed against a total of 13 people. Eight suspects are acquitted of all charges while the case on three other suspects was put aside. Hassan Palaz, the former vice president of the Scientific and Technological Research Council of Turkey, Tibtuk, was among the eight suspects who were acquitted by the court. The ruling was issued in the eight-court hearing of the case headed by the Ankara Seventh Court for Serious Crimes, in which Zavar and USTA appeared as defendants under arrest while Tibtuk's former top executive Palaz appeared for another charge other than eavesdropping. Erdogan's attorneys Muammar Simalolu and Berantan Sevenkan along with Sami Arslan Akn, an attorney from the Prime Ministry, were present in court. The indictment against the defendants said the Erdogan's official residence during his time as Prime Minister was recorded between November 24 and December 29, 2011, and that his bureau in Ankara's Kishioran district was recorded between November 25 and December 29 the same year. In 2011, Secret voice recorders were found in multiple power units in a number of searches of Erdogan's office in Kishioran, the Justice and Development Party, AKP, headquarters, the Prime Ministry's office and its official residence, the indictment said. The searches for the bugs were held by the National Intelligence Organization, MT, upon the approval of the Prime Ministry, it added. The defendants Ali Zidoan, Sadat Zavar, Sirhat Demir, Ahmed Turer, NSISI and Vilkar USTA had previously been required to serve up to 36 years in prison for eavesdropping on the Prime Minister for the purpose of political spying, violation of the private life of a public employee, and recording conversations between people. Other defendants, namely Harun Yavuz, Brahim Sar, Hersit Kalbe, Syed Sedam, Mehmet Yuxal, Zeki Bulat, and Hassan Palaz were charged with helping to commit eavesdropping crimes. Mehmet Shurer, an attorney representing the defendants, said the case lacked the necessary evidence for accusations. The bugs in question were imported from Denmark. To whom did the company give these bugs? This was not investigated. According to our inquiry into the issue, Reza Seraf is one of the shareholders of the importing company. Turkish intelligence could easily find the bugs in only one search, he said.